Hello everyone and welcome again to another Teacher Joseph podcast. Today's podcast is all about cheese. We have some idioms, proverbs and adjectives related to cheese. Now the reason why we're talking about cheese today is because yesterday I went to the supermarket and tried to buy cheese. I looked everywhere and soon discovered that the supermarket didn't have any. I went to another smaller supermarket and still couldn't find the cheese. So I went to a third supermarket and they also were sold out. Now, This is something which seems to be fairly common with some types of food here in the UK. Ever since Brexit time, buying essentials like eggs, tomatoes and cheese sometimes seems impossible. The government have told us that it's nothing to do with Brexit, but it's to do with logistics of moving food around the country. There's more customs checks now for food coming in, and also food is often sourced locally now, whereas before it was imported. There's various other reasons why food is not always available in the supermarket, but Sometimes I go there and it's like 1948, you know, the years just after the war, or worse still, when rationing was in place during the war. Anyway, eventually I found some cheese in a very small supermarket which only had two bags left. So I quickly bought the cheese and left. So that's why we're talking about cheese today. You know, in the supermarket, we still have the sign which says, eggs, only one carton per customer. We're not allowed to buy any more than that in some supermarkets because they just don't have enough to go around. Anyway, let's go through some Proverbs, idioms, and adjectives all about cheese. Well, I suppose the main one is when we bring about the verb to grate. To grate, G-R-A-T-E, is what you do with cheese. You rub it up and down a little metal board with holes in it, And that grates the cheese. Grated cheese is delicious. You can put that on top of all kinds of dishes. But that verb, to grate, is often used for people who really annoy us. We can talk about how they grate on our nerves. Oh, I really like John, you know, but he grates on my nerves sometimes. Oh, my boss really grates on my nerves. You know, you can imagine the action of grating cheese. And if you picture your nerve or your nerves as something physical, you can probably sense what that sensation is like if someone grates on your nerves. We can refer to an important person as the big cheese. An important or influential person, especially at work, is the big cheese, you know. Sometimes people would call him the big shot. Oh, he's a real big shot in that industry. I suppose Elon Musk is a big shot or the big cheese for people who work at X. Someone who's famous, influential and important is the big cheese. Cheese is used in all manner of ways to talk about people in American English. And 
Uh, I don't know all of their phrases, but it can be very different, you know, from British English. When someone's having their photograph taken, you can say, say cheese, because cheese, when you say it, forces the person to look like they're smiling. If you come across two very different things, you can describe them as being like chalk and cheese, especially brothers. You can say, oh, they're nothing alike. They're like chalk and cheese, those two. I suppose some people here would also use it when they're talking about food. But for those of you who come from cultures which celebrate food, then it's a little bit uncomfortable to use that because it, ew, food which tastes like cheese is not popular. Um, let's see, there's <clears throat> a few others here which are purely American. One is when you say, cheese it, it means stop doing what you are doing because the police are coming. Cheese it, run, the police are coming. Now, I've never heard of that before, but it's very popular uh, in American English. Um, there's all kinds of other things as well regarding cheese, but I have to say um, we don't seem to use all of them in British English. So those are the main ones, and I hope you've enjoyed that. Now, about adjectives to describe the taste of cheese, well, there's many of those. Some of them you'll know and some of them you won't. Um, if you remember when I was describing perfume, I was saying that we can use the same adjectives uh, to describe drinks by adding Y at the end, like salty, fruity, tangy. Well, it's the same with cheese. Uh, we can add Y to some normal words to help us describe, like creamy, for example. Cheese is often creamy if it has a soft, smooth, rich texture. We can say it's tangy if it's slightly acidic or maybe even a little bit spicy. Nutty if it is reminiscent of nuts, if it reminds us of nuts. Earthy, if it evokes in your mind some idea of soil. Mm, it sounds disgusting, doesn't it? Fruity is one I mentioned earlier, if it reminds you of fruit. Buttery, if it reminds you of butter. Be careful with that one. You don't want to say battery, the thing that makes your car go. Do they still have batteries in cars? I don't know. I don't drive, so that's lost on me, that. But it's not battery anyway, it's ah. Uh, buttery, like butter. Smoky, oh, smoked cheese can be delicious, really. Uh, crumbly, describes a texture where it falls apart. Well, some mozzarella cheeses do that, don't they? Um, velvety, if it's smooth like velvet. Moldy, the presence of mold, which can contribute to the flavor. Oh, no, no, oh. Um, no, 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 I don't like moldy cheese. To be honest with you, um, I do like cheese, but not too much of it. And, uh, you know, when I go on a holiday to Europe, they have this thing called the continental breakfast, which is like bits of bread with cheese or meat. Uh, I don't know how people can survive on that because they eat all their main dishes at night. I mean, don't give me a bit of bread and a bit of cheese and call it breakfast. Oh, no, no. I like a big breakfast. Not as big as the big English breakfast, but at least something that's going to fill my belly. Okay, grainy would be something which comes from the word grain, a texture where small hard bits are in it. Okay, so there we are. 
some adjectives to describe cheese. So if you are coming to the UK, <laughs> you don't need to come with loads and loads of food. You will be able to find things to buy. But yeah, there are essentials which you have to really search for, like tomatoes, cheese and eggs. They're not always readily available in the, um, in the supermarket. So it's something for you to keep in mind. And that's it from me. It's pouring with rain here. Christmas is coming. Um, next week, I think I'll start doing podcasts about Christmas because we're getting kind of close now and I'll be beginning to cook. So I'll be talking about my recipes and uh, other things that I'm doing. Uh, and buying his Christmas gifts. And that's it. So um, I'll see you all again soon. Take care. Bye.